this lesson we're going to cover constructing exponential functions from either a graph or a table. So let's go ahead and get into the lesson. For an exponential function, we use uh, the function f of x is equal to a times b to the x power, or you can replace the f of x with y. The a represents the y-intercept or the initial value of the function when x is 0. So if you have um, a graph, it is going to be on your y-axis. And if you have a table, it will be the ordered pair where your x is 0. The b represents the common ratio, which is the factor multiplied for each um, increase of x. And so you're just finding the common ratio between your y values. And b has to be greater than 0. Other ways you could see exponential functions, um, a times b to the x, where you don't have uh, the multiplication symbol in the middle, or um, the b is in uh, parentheses. So let's go ahead and um, delve a little more into exponential functions, looking at growth and decay. For exponential growth and decay, if b is greater than 1, then the function is an exponential growth and it is increasing. If b is in between 0 and 1, then the function is an exponential decay and it is increasing. And if you look at the graphs below here, a de uh, decay, exponential decay, the graph uh, falls from left to right. And if you look at the exponential growth, the graph goes up from left to right. So remember, we read from left to right. If it falls from left to right, it's a decay. If it goes up from left to right, it is a growth. Also remember, b, your b has an exponent. So that is how you will identify your b value. So let's take a look at example one here. It says, construct a function to model this relationship and state whether or not the function is, the growth or, is a growth or a decay. So the first thing we want to do is find a, which is the y-intercept, which is the initial value. So if you're looking at this graph here, a is right here. It is on the graph. Um, it is on the y-axis. And so my a is 0 0.5. So it is your y value right here, which is your initial value. Next, you want to find the common ratio. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at... Um, our y values here. We have a 3 and a 0 0.5. And the only thing we need to do is divide these two numbers. So 3 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 6. And then we just write the function. So f of x is equal to a, which is 0 0.5. I can either put a multiplication symbol or I could put parentheses. doesn't matter. I'm going to actually put parentheses around the 6. And it's going to be always raised to the x power. So that is my function. And is it a growth or a decay? That graph um, actually goes up from left to right. So this is a growth. And we can also say that b is greater than 1. So that's how we know it would also be a growth. All right, so example two here, I would like for you to try on your own. Uh, find your y-intercept, the common ratio, write the function, and state whether or not this is a growth or a decay. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. All right, so you should have gotten f of x is equal to 24 times 1 third x. Um, one thing I failed to mention in my previous problem is that when you're dividing your common ratio, you should look for the ordered pair um, where your x is not 0. And that is going to be in your numerator. So right here, I have a 1 8 right here. And so that is going to be in my numerator when I divide. And so you look for the value that is not 1 um, to divide. That would be your numerator. And then your denominator would be um, where your x is equal to 0, that y value there. All right, so hopefully um, you kind of understand it a little better now. All right, so let's take a look at example 3 here. It says a table represents this uh, exponential relationship shown. We want to construct a function model and state whether or not it is a growth or a decay. 
So first, of course, we have to find our y-intercept or that initial value. And that is simply where x is equal to 0. Because if you were to plot this on a graph, this ordered pair would be on the y-axis, which is where uh, the initial value would start. So my y value here, or you could say your f of x, which is your output, would be 16. So you look for wherever x is 0. You look for either the f of x or if this were y, so whatever, whatever the output would be. Uh, you want to find the common ratio. So looking at this graph, I could use any two of these. These are actually ordered pairs. Um, I'm going to actually pick these two right here to look at my y value. So my 8 would be first because that is um, my x that is not 1. So I could do 8 divided by 16 to get 1 half. Okay. Or I could do 4 divided by 8. So pick the one with the higher uh, x value. And that would be your numerator. But I just like to choose the 0. And if possible, if my x is a 1, I choose that as well. So if you notice, if you divide 4 by 8, you get 1 half. Um, 16 divided, I'm sorry, 8 divided by 16, you get 1 half. Um, and 16 divided by 32, you also get 1 half. So you're just looking for that common uh, ratio. So here it would be 1 half. So now I just plug it in. f of x is equal to a is 16, b is 1 half, raised to the x power. All right, so that is my function. So now is this a growth or decay? So b is in between 0 and 1. So that would be a exponential decay. All right, so the last problem I would like for you to try on your own here, you want to write a function, but try to just use the table to write your function, state whether or not it's a growth or decay, and then use the graph to see how the graph relates to the table. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. All right, so your function should have been f of x is equal to 2 times 1 half to the x power, and it is an exponential decay. Hopefully you got it correct. If not, go ahead, pause the video, the video and analyze the work here a little more. All right, we've reached the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for learning with me. Some related videos are transformations of exponential functions as well as exponential growth and decay. And in that video, I go over word problems dealing with exponential growth and decay. If you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, I want to thank you for learning with me.